the Home Depot. I need some logs for my Christmas party because we're making a bonfire. These so, logs look good. Oh, really? Wow, all these logs are so different. Teacher, teacher, can you explain to me logarithmic differentiation? I don't get it. Got you. Ah. So, logarithmic differentiation is very important, okay? So there's three steps, three main steps. First one, you'll have to take the natural log of both sides. Um, so you get ln y equals ln f of x. And then you'll take the derivative of both sides, and then you'll solve the equation by multiplying both sides by y. Okay, so here's an example question. We have y equals cube root of e to the power of x over x squared plus 1. And then when we take the ln of both sides, we have ln y equals 1 third, because the 1 third came down from the cube root, times ln uh, of e to the power of x over x squared plus 1. And then when we take the derivative of both sides, we get this equation. And if you multiply y on both sides and substitute this for y, you'll get this as the answer. Cool. So let's try a sample question and see if you can do it. I'm okay. Sure you'll be able to. Just keep in mind the steps and uh, you'll be good. Okay. So first we want to take the ln of both sides. So we get ln y is equal to ln of x to the one half to the x, so ln to the one half hex. And then you take the derivative of both sides. Actually, we first we can simplify this to ln of y is equal to x over 2 ln x. Now we can take the derivative of both sides, so we get y prime over y is equal to the, this is, now we can do product rule. So the derivative of this is one half, so we get one half ln x plus the this times the derivative of this, and these two cancel out to give us one half. So we multiply both sides by y to get Okay, I get it now. That's how you do logarithmic <coughs> differentiation. Check out these logs. Follow me. Yeah, I need to check these logs out. They're very different. Logs. The total will be sixty-nine, sixty-nine. Thank you for shopping at Home Depot. Have a good day. Oh my god, what did I do? Come with me, come with me. Get in the car. I crossed the limit line! That's how the car is going. We're going to the hospital! What did I do? I just got my license. Get out, get out, get out, get out. <laughs> Hello, darling. How can I help you today? What happened to you? A, I got hit by a car and everything really hurts. Oh, really? That's too sad. You know what? I have to help some other patients, so uh, take this support animal. Thank you. Oh, hi, Shivanj. How are you feeling now? I'm feeling a lot better because of the great care you've taken of me. Nice. Well, uh, since you've been a patient at L'Hopital's for the past month, I got you a present. Oh, thank you. What is it? It's a chain and a ruler. What is it going to do? It's gonna make you feel better. Why? Because it's a chain rule. Oh. Teacher, can you explain me the chain rule? I don't get it. Okay, so here's the chain rule. The derivative of f of g of x is equal to f prime of g of x times g prime of x. So here's an example for you. 
D over D of X of sine <laughs> 3 X. So the first layer is sine 3 X. So then that would be cosine 3 X. And then the second layer would be 3 X. So the derivative of that is 3. I get it. So okay. it's cosine 3 X times 3. Now do some yourself. Okay, so the first layer is ln of x. So the derivative of ln of x is 1 over whatever is in the ln. So this would be 1 over x squared minus 1. And the inner layer we'd multiply by is this. And the derivative of x squared minus 1 is 2x. So that's our answer. Then this one, the outer layer is x to the 4. And the inner layer is 3x squared minus 1. So the derivative of something to the 4th is 4 times that thing Mommy. to the third, and then we multiply by the derivative of the inside, and the derivative of 3x squared minus 1 is 6x. So that would be our answer.